For such a small place, this corner of the world has more than punched above its weight on the global sporting stage. It has produced world record holders and champions, giants in their field, from Renty to Rory, Dame Mary to Geordie, the Belfast boy. The canvas for this rich landscape was the pages of the Ireland Saturday Night newspaper, also known as the Ulster or the Pink. From 1894 to 2008, it was a local institution, produced every Saturday tea time at what seemed impossible speed, only minutes after final whistles had sounded. Indeed, the ink could barely have been dry on the copies that generations of boys and girls collected from the local shop to bring home to their da. I know, I was one of them. In 2010, Libraries NI's first touring exhibition was All Our Saturdays, a history of sporting achievement as reported through the medium of the Ireland Saturday Night newspaper. The research for the exhibition was undertaken exclusively in Belfast Central Library's newspaper library, in which an extensive run of this newspaper is available. The story of sporting achievement in the country during the early days of the newspaper was not about world records and Olympic gold medals. It was the homespun stories and events that grabbed the attention. For instance, Marguerite Cody's record-breaking swim across the mouth of Belfast Lock in 1913, as well as mass sporting events that captured the imagination of a curious public, such as the Aquatic Festival in Belfast Waterworks, or the misadventures of amateur boxer Mickey Diddle during the 1907 Belfast to Lurgan Go As You Please Marathon. Regular features that many will fondly recall include the Spot the Ball competition, as well as the ubiquitous full rundown of results and league standings. Everything was in there, from the local dart results, right through to the placings in the Church of Ireland Badminton League. And so, as the popularity of the paper grew, copies were sent all over the world to expat family members. The decades marched on, and so did success. The list of greats from the era rolled right off the tongue. Taylor, Higgins, McGuigan, Dunlop, and the teams the Northern Ireland football team reaching three World Cups, the Down Gaelic football team winning three All-Irelands during the 1960s, and Ulster Rugby becoming champions of Europe in 1999. All are chronicled in those pages. Since ceasing publication in 2008, we have seen Rory McIlroy become number one in the world, Jonathan Ray's phenomenal exploits in the Superbike World Championship, and AP McCoy retire after 20 straight champion jockey titles. We all get our news very differently now from when the first editions of the paper rolled off the press. However, the run held in Belfast Central Library is a snapshot of a century of achievement and greatness. So whether it's researching material for a book, looking for an old photo of a loved one from their sporting days, or a simple browse down memory lane, it's all there, waiting to be discovered.